I'm a big durian lover. If I were to take myself 10 years ago, the only durian I know that I love was probably D24. But as we have evolved and there's more and more species of uh, durians coming across, so my favourite is still uh, Musang King and uh, Ang He. So these are the two of my favourite durians. So the biggest challenge is the grounding of most of the passenger aircrafts. Although we have 300 odd um, aircrafts of our own, 50% uh, of our uplift capacity still relies on um, passenger aircraft, which are most of them grounded. So we had to reorganize our, our fleets, we have to reorganize our aircraft to make sure that we still continue to provide uh, uplift capacity to our, our customers. That said, we have also uh, looked at expanding our aircraft fleet. So if you have heard over the news, we have uh, earlier purchased about 14 aircraft and then in the, in the recent announcement, we have purchased another new 8777s to make sure that we don't just rely on, on the passenger aircraft which continues to be grounded but we also expand our uplift capacity. Second challenge is the border closures. The border closures with uh, many, many countries, borders continue to open to close, right? So that's one of the biggest challenges also we deal with um, during this pandemic. I've been out of the country for, for more than 10 years. So I was uh, in Singapore for, for a good um, 10 years and the last two years of my career before I got posted back to DHR Malaysia, I was in Hong Kong. So as you know, these two countries, Singapore and Hong Kong, there are many big durian lovers there. So coming back to, to, to Malaysia, I was thinking with more than 50% already market share, what else can we grow and support our local SMEs with? So what first came to mind was, Obviously, durian. Durian is uniquely Malaysia. We still have one of the best durians, durians in the world, right? So that sort of uh, sprout a good idea of say, okay, uniquely Malaysia, we can bring something that is uh, loved by the world into Malaysia. So and we can make these local uh, foods uh, more global to preserve the freshness and the aroma of, of these fruits, right? By forming the concept of farm to table, where it's so fresh, it's coming up from the farm, and the next day you, when you order it uh, today, you, the next day itself you get it on your table. So that was how the idea came about. Durian Express is the first perishable food product that we have um, uh, sort of uh, programmed to be uh, flown on our, our flights and it's currently uh, only catering for, for Hong Kong and Singapore. As we continue to expand our market because there are other big markets, I think China is a huge export market for, for durians as well. So that's where we try to extend our capability to Indonesia is another big market where constantly my parts in, in, in Indonesia are asking can, can you export to uh, Indonesia? The collaboration and the partnership that we have built with New Leaf has started on a very fantastic uh, footstep and I think this is one of the aspiration of uh, DHL, not just DHL Express Malaysia but DHL Express globally. We have got a program called Go Trade. Go Trade is where we want to create a platform to help SMEs in developing countries to bring their goods overseas. So as you know, um, if you just concentrate on the domestic market, the domestic market is not big enough to expand your business. So we want to leverage on the DHL network of 220 countries to help these SMEs bring their, their unique good, uh, products like the durians, which is unique to New Leaf, started on a great footstep and I think we look to expanding this partnership with New Leaf into the next growth journey.